Yesterday, this thing closed at 254. The stock went to 27 today. Again, AIPR, right? You look at a name like Very. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully everybody had a good uh, trading day. Hopefully everybody had uh, a great trading month. We'll get to that uh, in a second. If you are uh, new to the channel, uh, if you can be so kindly, click a like, would love to uh, get your continuation of support. And if you are new, uh, hit subscribe so you can get notified when we are uploaded. So let's talk about it, right? Last year, uh, as everybody knows, the NASDAQ did not do a lot of good things. We weren't making a lot of investors happy. 33% uh, decline for the year is no small peanuts. And obviously, the you know the word was well. We're now going to go even further, right? All these forecasters and uh, you know analysts and you know money managers and this that and the other thing, recession, depression, everybody just kill yourselves and the world is over, right? Apparently, the stock market doesn't believe in what should happen or what you think is going to happen. The market is the market, and that's exactly what it's always been, and it's always what it's going to continue to be, and it's going to be irrational. It's going to be completely disconnected uh, from what the reality is, and if you go through the series of events throughout, uh, throughout history, right, the stock market is sometimes disconnected six months, eight months, even a year away from Main Street and what exactly is going on. If you guys remember, in the generational bottom, of 2009, the market recovered two years before, two, three years before Main Street did, right? People were uh, trying to get back on their feet after two, three years of the mortgage crisis, again, losing their homes, losing their jobs, losing their minds and everything else in between. And the market ripped for two, three, four, five years before people uh, kind of got back on their feet. So there's always going to be a disconnect. This is where a lot of them, especially the newer traders, uh, just don't understand it. It doesn't make a difference what you think is right, right? We've covered this in nausea. You know, the market sometimes becomes so tone deaf into what's going on on Main Street that it really doesn't make a difference. And this is exactly uh, what we saw in January of 2023, the first uh, month of the year. And again, if you look at the numbers, yeah, pretty impressive, right? You have uh, the NASDAQ up nearly 11% uh, for the month. You're talking about 10.7%. Uh, you had the S&P 500 putting up its best month uh, of January in the last four years. And that's that's pretty evident of the price action we had. And even yesterday, right? Uh, if you watched last night's video, I, you know, I was waiting, you know, I was waiting for, say, you know, we might have one more day, right? One more day of downside bias. Uh, and I said last night's video, I'm, you know, I'm ready for both sides of the market. But if we do have one more day of down bias, you know, I'm ready for it. Let's, you know, let's see if we can get it before uh, before the Fed minutes. And guess what? We didn't even take out the previous day's low. And this is when you know the market is super strong. Uh, the market did gap down this morning. Uh, pretty decent gap up. A lot of stocks uh, gap down. But right when the word mattered the most and the regular session, uh, session started, you know, nothing that mattered, right? We, we claimed pre-market lows very, very aggressively on a lot of stocks. We never took out the previous day's low, and that's the key, right? For, for a market uh, to go lower, it needs to take out the previous uh, day's low. For the market to go higher, we need to take out the previous day's high. And you can see here, we were right in the middle of both two days, but it really does show you, and, and it really does uh, it personify how much strength there is in this tape. When we talked about last night, we've had three, right? We've literally had three down sessions uh, since January the 6th, that really does uh, show uh, and continues to show amazing strength. Um, because we had kind of an inside day, both the top and the bottom uh, channels of the NASDAQ, the focus today, ironically, was not on, you know, the big cap crazy stocks, right? Although, you know, some of them did okay. Um, you know, some stocks recovered. Microsoft did really well. Uh, Tesla, after having one day of back testing yesterday, recovered you know up six and a half points today. Uh, you had Apple uh, waking up. You had Meta waking up. But the, the the crazy part, and this really demonstrates how strong this tape is, is the small cap stocks, right? Uh, anything that you know looks like it's an AI play, artificial intelligence, and it's actually putting out a PR. AI, that gets the stock going. If I don't know how many of you guys remember, how many of you guys uh, were trading during the dot-com era, but when it, it was, it's the same formula. You know, uh, in the dot-com era, they were coming out with 
uh, anything like a jewelry store, right? A jewelry store will comes out with a PR and says, uh, we are selling uh, you know, our jewelry online, right? The stock would absolutely explode. If you guys remember, uh, if you guys remember during COVID, they came out with, well, this so, you know, so-and-so ABCD, was, we're coming out with a PR, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're gonna do COVID testing, stock explodes. So now it's AI, right? Artificial intelligence, it's all over the place. Um, and any stock, you know, if they're, if they're smart, they're just constantly running this PR mill. And that's exactly what's happening. If you look today and we'll get to the individual pivots, mostly these smaller cap names with option flow, you had these crazy moves. You know, look at the stock MSGM. I mean, look at this thing. The stock literally went yesterday. This thing closed at 254. The stock went to 27 today. Again, AIPR, right? You look at a name like Very. Uh, and again, we had a nice pivot today in, in the room. Um, you know, very another another AI stock. Although they didn't come out with with any PRs, they just started pumping one. Look at me. Look at the, the expansion volume. They just started coming with uh, option flow, out of the money option flow, and talk about AI. Right here's AI, a company who actually does AI. Again, this was a massive move with expansion volume. The same thing. Okay, even though uh, they didn't come out with their own AI PR, this is the theme. This is where the speculation money is. And uh, again, if you if you want to get Gauge the temperature of how strong or weak the market is. Just look for stocks that are people are chasing up 100, 200, 300, 400 percent. Maybe that's not my thing, right? But there's a whole, you know, contingent of, you know, contingency of people that are willing to do so and, and, and you know, throw all caution to the wind. And this is exactly uh, why the market continues to be uh, super duper strong. Uh, going into uh, tomorrow, uh, you have obviously the Fed minutes. Uh, the thinking is 25 basis points, but again, as we discussed in a couple of other uh, videos, uh, you know, we, we want to see what I think the traders investors are looking for what's going to happen in the future, right? What's their contingency plan in the future? Again, uh, one, you know, one Fed chair comes out and says, well, we're looking for uh, rate hikes all the way through 2024, maybe even beyond. Waller comes out, like I mentioned in last night's video, well, wait a minute, you know, maybe we're, we're at the point that we can start slowing down. Uh, maybe at some point we could even start cutting them again. So, you know, as long as they don't speak on both sides of the mouth and this, uh, you know, and this, um, uh, and this trend continues of strength and speculation money continues uh, to inflow into the market. You know, the market, again, has a ton of room to go higher. Again, is it possible every single day the market goes high? Of course not. This is the repeat recording, right? Tell me if you heard this before. The market's not going to go up every single day. But the point is the trend is still the trend. Dips are still getting bought. You can see it again with your, your latest uh, inclusion of this morning's uh, this morning's dip got bought. I mean, despite, uh, you know, some, you know, some, some, pretty ugly earnings reports. You had uh, Caterpillar, which is really, you know, really shows you, uh, you know, really shows you what Main Street, what, what Main Street America is, right? Farmers, this, that, this, that, and the third. I mean, look, you have, you have a major Dow stock that's down, you know, $9 in a day. It was down a lot more than that. Again, the market doesn't care. It, it, it just completely starts engulfing bad news. Look at today after the close, right? After the close, you have earnings, right? You had AMD. AMD beats on the top and the bottom, but they, they, it, it sounded like I read the language. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize. It's a little late in the day. Uh, I, I thought I read that they, they even missed something. They might have missed or there something, right? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But the point is, they're still up four percent of the day. The, it's like almost like the market is tone deaf to the bad news and, and just absorbing the good news, and that's exactly what's taking the market higher. Uh, if you look at everything else after the close, EA Sports. It's in the game, right? Not so much, not so much love. You have Western Digital, right? You have Western Digital uh, in the in the disk drive. Uh, I think storage space, um, you know, getting hit as well. Uh, you got Match.com, right? Apparently, people are not dating online anymore, getting hit as well. And Snapchat, again, like Kylie Jenner said a couple of years ago, who the hell uses Snapchat? Apparently not. Apparently not a lot of people. So yeah, I mean, with all the you know all the guidance again, if you look at uh, if you look at uh, all the tech names, they're not really budging that much uh, on all you know on some of these uh, earnings reports again, which is a good thing. You know, if you're tone uh, completely omitting the bad news, and we've you know I've made a video constantly over and over again with Netflix, with Microsoft, with Goldman Sachs. And now you have uh, you have uh, AMD, uh, a little bit of a warning, but porn is still up four four five percent on 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 the day. This continues to to really fuel the market, uh, and the bulls continue to charge higher. So what's going to happen tomorrow? We have no idea. Uh, is I, I think though, if the bulls can 
if the Bulls can withstand the gut punch, okay, after uh, Powell starts talking and, you know, they take the market and the market doesn't sell off and then we actually rally into the close, I think this market continues and the market continues aggressively. Uh, I think, uh, obviously, the Fed chairman's words are going to be scrutinized. Uh, as, the jo you know, as the old joke says, the first 89 moves uh, of the Fed after his uh, after comments are always are always the trickiest, as, as we all know, uh, that is uh, the case. But the most important point is, and this is where we want to see uh, where the queues are. If the queues can just close above this 295 level for tomorrow, I do believe we see that 298 level and ultimately 300. Obviously, uh, yesterday's uh, yesterday's low of 289 is going to come into play. But again, if you are giving the bulls uh, the benefit of the doubt, I think we all are at least to this point. Everything, change, anything can change on a dime. Uh, again, we're going to watch this 295 to the upside tomorrow on the queues for a potential uh, move back into last week's highs. That's it. That's kind of what we are uh, going into tomorrow. Uh, if you see about today's session, uh, if you see about today's session, uh, again, I started putting a couple of pivots to the downside. I started putting some pivots to the upside. But if you look at the pivots to the upside, for the exception of Tesla, right, which, you know, had a nice little you know, $3 move, nothing big. But, you know, for the exception of Tesla, they were, they were all small cap stocks. And that's but that's where this speculation money was. I think a lot of people uh, took off the last day of the month. Again, a lot of people, if you trade in, on prop, uh, you you or you know some funds, depending how your funds are structured, uh, you are you know you are closing out your month mark to market. So whatever you're finished with, uh, whatever you kill at the end of January is what you eat uh, for your paycheck. So I think a lot of people took off as well. So you you're seeing a lot of waiting and a lot of uh, you know fingers uh, fingers crossed to see what's going to happen for tomorrow. But these are the pivots of today. Uh, Apple 142.85. If it builds below, can flush. Not, as you can imagine, not a big move at all. Uh, Apple did not go down a lot uh, at all. You know, Apple went down to where? You know, went down what? You know, nothing small. Went down with 40 cents, 50 cents, and then re rebounded with the rest of the market. Uh, NVIDIA 191.50, 191.50 if it builds below can flush. I thought there was a shot at 86.87. Not a big move at all, but you know, went down a couple of points, right? So here's your uh, here's your 91.50, 91 flush. Went down to like 87. Uh, 87.60s, right? 87.60s pre-market, uh, and then kind of bounce back here. So, every, you know, nothing big, nothing big at all. And then you started having these uh, AI moves with your option flow. AI, 18.20, rejected twice, needs to build. Here is AI, right? So here's AI. Look at this 18.20. Once it got above the 18.20, this thing just went out of its mind. Uh, it went to 21.34. And here is uh, Tesla 71 needs to be needs to build, not needs to buy or needs to build. Here is the 71, right? It got above this 71 area right here. It got above this whole 71 area, went to 74. Again, I like Tesla. This, they're coming out with a lot of flow. If this thing doesn't sell off in the next couple of days, I do think we see last week's highs. Uh, very nice little trade. Again, I don't trade a lot of small cap stocks, but when I see uh, option flow come in one after another, it definitely gets my attention. Nice move here today. Uh, 1250 calls that came in uh, for March. Uh, 820, 825 needs to build. Look at this very, what it did. It went to 945, right? Nice move here. T took out this 820, 825 area. Uh, went to 945. Uh, take on the way up. Next up, 850. Took out 850 and went. And guys, watch this PLTR. It, it, it closed above the channel on the close. PLTR, uh, not only were they coming for the weekly eights and, the, and um, two weeks out, eight and a half calls, they were coming for the June, I think they were coming for the June 12s very, very aggressively, one after another after another. Uh, but this is the highest close in its whole formation here. Right, this is the highest close in the whole formation. If it confirms tomorrow's channel, who knows? Maybe get uh, a push into the eight. So that's it, guys. We're kind of set up uh, for tomorrow morning. We have Powell. We have a new month. The question is, can we continue this momentum? It doesn't have to be every day, but the key is, can we continue uh, this train that started off slowly, picked up steam, and now it's almost on a runaway basis? And hopefully, and I think I could speak for anybody who is a perma bull. We kind of like that, right? We kind of like that. Even though I don't fall into the permeable category, I know a lot of you guys do, and all news is sometimes good news, and good news sometimes is great news, so hopefully this great news continues. Guys, stay blessed. I'll talk to you all tomorrow, and have a great night. Take care.